What items did you feel like you knew I could get a new gun that like there was no need for me to bring? As appliances? No, just in general for the house. Like where you're just like, you left it in the US. You're like, there's no point in me even bringing this there in Uganda. <laughs> None. No. <laughs> <laughs>
And but as you are packing, you have to be there because you have to list everything. Of course, packing. yes. Now, on their form. while they're packing, are they also weighing everything so that no. they've okay by then they've already quoted no. you? Oh, no. okay. So my agreement, my my the system they use, and it is the same system that AGS uses. Okay. They ask you, do you want how how much stuff do you want to do? And you say it is a house, a household. Okay. And then when they come out to do that initial um, inspection of your staff, mm -hmm. they advise you on wh what sort of container oh, that you you'll should need. Have, okay. You'll need. Okay. So it could be 40 inch, it could be 60 inch. It depends on what you are taking. Right, and the size of your home. And, and the size yeah, of your home. So. Mine was one of those biggest ones. I can't remember. Was it 60 or was it 40? Okay. Because I was also putting my car, car in yes, that right. container. So that's what that's what happened. They just they just come and and park. Okay. They they put everything in their truck and they take them they take your staff to their headquarters okay. in um, in Hunton, Virginia. Mm -hmm. If you're in North Carolina, they do the same thing. They take them they take your staff to wherever. Um, now, what I've found, have, um, you know, to cut the whole long story short, for a Ugandan coming back, they actually don't go. They don't have to do all that. All they oh, have okay. to do is call you know contact AGS. Okay. Or whichever yes. shaper that they want to. And use. AGS, the reason I know about AGS is because I've used, used them. Used them before, right? So AGS will tell them which company they use in the state you are in. Oh, okay. If you are in Canada, they will tell you what, where, where you are. Okay. If you are in, um, in, in Washington, they will tell you. If you are in Florida, they will tell so you. So they basically like collaborate with other small yes, companies? And yes, then it is make so, it easy. so okay. seamless. That is so nice. That is fantastic. So essentially, they just charge you per container. Yes. So it's not a weight system. No. It's not how many pieces, kilos. You know, the, no. when you bring small things, it was yes. like, how many kgs? It's yes. so annoying. So it's just a 40 whatever container, yes. and then that's what you yes. pay for. But the listing of your stuff is to do with the insurance. Oh, okay, yes. right. Okay. So that if anything is broken, that was going to be my next question. Exactly. Did everything come as you had packed? Has they few, had packed? A few it? things got broken because this this the containers come by sea. Yes, exactly. I was going to um, mention. And that. not a lot of stuff was broken. Okay. I had a toilet thing because I brought all sorts of things. Yes, I remember that was. That was the one so thing I that was broken, and then some other little stuff, but. The, the claiming of the insurance back mm -hmm. from the company right. was seamless. Oh, right. So they covered that anyway yes, to make yes, sure everything was yes, good. Yes. So now, do you remember what the price was for a 40 container versus the 60 container or like how that works? They they give you a price. I mean, if oh, I okay. if I was to tell you how much it was today, it cannot be, be very the different than that was pre COVID yes. too. <laughs> but but I had a lot of stuff and mm -hmm. it was running. It ran into I think it was about 16. Okay. Oh, to bring up that includes the car, in, insur the, the, car, the car, insurance, and so on. Wow. So like the entire house was. Yes. yes. That's really yes. good, actually. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was very good. They are very nice. They were very very nice people. They were very much in contact with me, and the um, the AG, the AGS people are very very informed on what the regulations are in Uganda, oh, that's Kenya, and that's so Pakistan. good. Yes. Okay, so before I get into that one though, I just wanted to quickly ask, how long did the shipping process take then? Once they, the five days, they packed, they took no, your things? No, they come and pack in one day. Oh, one day, sorry, one day, yes. then they took your things, then how long did it take to, for them to arrive in Uganda? Okay, that was a surprise. Okay. They told me, if I remember well, they told me that Okay, let's do an example. Mm -hmm. That your staff is re leaving here on the 15th of September, mm -hmm. and it will be in Uganda on the 15th of October. November. Oh, okay, that's what they told you for two months. No, they give you two months. Two uh, months, or three okay, months. right. And I didn't believe them, mm -hmm. but you know that exactly on the day they said that. No, they told me when it will be in uh, Mombasa. Mombasa, right. And they told me, approximately when it will be in Uganda. Right, because then they have to drive to it over. That was supposed to two days. Mm, okay. Once it, once it gets to mm, Mombasa. And the reason was that things have changed. Because before it would have taken more time in Mombasa, but because of this new thing with East Africa. Oh, right, yes. They don't uh, have to. Like, uh, fair, free, well, fair trade, free trade, I think. Free, free trade, trade or something. Yeah. They don't have to open up the stuff and mm. then do whatever. whatever. Yes, what is checked there they, just comes. Yeah, it mm. just comes. And... Um, and I think it is checked in Mombasa. Yes, I mean, not checked. in Mombasa, in Naivasha. 
Oh, oh yeah, it's the somewhere it has there. To go through Naivasha, and then from there, it directly will come to, here to Uganda, mm -hmm. and you do all your customs stuff in here. Uganda. Okay, okay. So that was the same time. But mm. also, what what amazed me was that I didn't know it takes that short short, short of a time. time. Yeah, I think that they probably quoted, especially for some contingency, just in case anything happens. But you know but that's what? amazing. It is amazing because I think it came through the Mediterranean Sea mm -hmm. oh, down south. Okay. I don't think it went through the Cape of Good Hope. Okay, and then all of up. Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, interesting. Well, that was. But then I gave you the contacts of it. Yeah, yes, so the, yeah, everyone, right? <laughs> Coach, and especially because now it's post COVID. You came yes. before COVID. Yes. Things have changed. Even just to fly as a yes. human, it's yes. changed. So the only thing that um, <laughs> that was actually a, a problem for AGS and whoever in Mombasa was that Kenya was actually doing their. Um, yeah, elections. Elections, okay. That's usually so slow. Everything down. was closed <laughs> on this side and on that and side. That side and, yeah. yeah. So, so the drivers couldn't drive the trucks. Okay. Now, now you mentioned customs. How mm -hmm. was that? Was that sorted before in the U.S. of mm -hmm. understanding what would be expected? Because obviously, I think we all know when you move back, it's tax free. You can bring your things in. Yes. Um, now, when it arrived here, was it seamless for that process? See, now, AGS did almost everything, mm -hmm. uh, but I was required to go and clear the car. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's what I want to go more yes. in depth because that's yes. like the number one question everyone asks yes. me and I don't yes. have answers to. I had to go to the um, uh, that office, the customs of, is it URA? Yeah, URA, uh, yes. Yes, I had to go there and they have to do a report. Actually, that report also included all the personal staff. That okay. But the car especially was the biggest. Yes, uh, yes because they, you have to do a report, and the guy types all this stuff about the uh, car, you know how old it was, and and how much it cost, okay. and blah blah. How long blah. you owned it? I guess yes, prior yes, to yes, okay, yes, okay. bringing it here, and and you know just to to attest it to the fact that you are not bringing that car here to be sold. Right, right, just to make yeah, some money because we obviously there's red plates if you don't pay yes, for taxes so they now yes. need to give you those uh, plates. Yes. Make sure everything's legit. Right. <laughs> and it is the uh, the seamless part of it. Mm. That day you go there to do that interview with them is the same day they give you the the red plates. Oh, so it's and not like a month process. No, <laughs> no, they give you your plates. You take the plates to AGS, the carrying agents, in this case, AGS, mm -hmm. and then AGS will tell you to go to where that car, because they clear the car in a separate area. Oh, okay. AGS at that point had all my shipment uh, with them. Okay, okay, yeah? that makes because sense. Because they are, you know, whatever, but the car, right. you have to do it. Uh, it's so it's we own. went and got the car, and then we had to go to a gas station to get um, um what do you call it? Insurance. Insurance. Okay. At least, uh, not comprehensive, but at least you have at to least get third party. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes, at least third party, so you can drive it. Uh, okay, and then yeah. you sort out the other. Yeah, and after. that was it. Oh, okay. So now bringing it in, essentially, you would just contact the shipping company because I know most of them charge about three thousand if you're just bringing a car. So I guess you yes. just put it in someone else's mm -hmm. container. Right. Then once it arrives, is when you start dealing with the paperwork. No, no, no. The paperwork was for done. the car. In the United States, because it is an American Oh, because car. of the age. Oh, okay. Right. The, the, agents that, the agents in the United States, mm -hmm. they know where to, te to tell you to call or to, ah. to call. Them. So you, there are these forms that you fill in. Then they are sent and with the, um, the, no, the uh, car, what do you call it? The certificate of ownership. Oh, the ownership, yes. yes yeah, yes, in yes. my case, it was sent. There were all these things were sent to... Washington State. Okay, okay. Mind you, I'm okay. in Washington, D.C. Right, right. So right, that's yeah. where there's that <laughs> office that clears all these stuff that, I mean, about cars. And okay. Then they, it was easy. They did that and then they sent it back and uh, so that the uh, shippers can ship this car out of the United States. Okay, okay. So yeah. basically, as long as you contact the shipping company, they'll have all of these Yeah, they have all the information. For you to be able yeah. to. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. easy then. Because yeah. I know there were so many requirements. People ha ask so many questions, like you had to own the car for a particular amount of time, um, like I think at least more than a year or six months. There's all of these different yes. things floating around. Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, because if it is a brand new car, like two months old mm. and so on, it, it's sort of fishy. Why, why, why are you bringing it in? Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> it uh, could be like you're relocating, you want a new car, so you're bringing your yeah, new car. Yeah. <laughs> but also it, uh, it affects your taxes that you pay. Yeah, okay, that's what I was going to uh, yeah. inquire next. Um, okay. but, um, but if the car is, is older than... 
two years, mm -hmm. or is it, was it two years that you found out, or was it? Because anyway, Micah was already qualifying for for not being in that you know category because okay. I had okay. owned it for about four years. Four years, okay, yes. okay. Yes. Because yeah. um, I do know now, especially when you're bringing in cars, it can't be older than I know 15 years. So you also have to have more like a newer car essentially mm. um, to, bring, to bring it into the country anyway. Yes. And then, so there's that requirement. Then you have had to own it yourself in your own ownership abroad for a particular amount of time before yes. you can now bring it for yes. tax free. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you yes. can't just bring in the car. Right, right, right. So okay. all those things um, are, are, you know, they are variable. All that information. Yeah, through they, the ages. Not, not necessarily the Ugandan part of it, mm -hmm. of how, how many years it has to come. Okay. But AGS has that. A, okay. Not only AGS, I mean the shippers. Any from shipping Uganda. company yeah. for Uganda. They okay. should. Yeah. They should have Which would that. make sense because now you, the, worst, the worst thing, especially if you trust a company to bring it, is it gets stuck somewhere because right. they didn't give you all the information right. you needed. Right. Okay. So, right. but then as, essentially when the car arrived here, it was just cleared that day. Cleared that day. Seamless. We drove it here that yeah. day. Oh, nice. With the, you got the plates with that the day. Container, <laughs> the, you know, the container stuff. Yes. That, yeah, so. Okay, so then that was easy. That mm -hmm. wasn't uh, difficult. Right. Okay. Now, was there any additional information they gave you, like, if you wanted to sell the car? I know that there's stipulations. Yeah, if you if you bring in a car and you bring it in tax and you're, you're and tax-free and they give you the red plates, your your title, the title for the car, the copy of it, has to stay in the URA. Mm, okay. Uh, but and the, the URA puts on a caveat. Okay. That caveat is not that serious as far as ownership. Okay. It is only for the government of Uganda to to know that that car didn't pay taxes. Taxes, right. Now, if you buy it, mm -hmm. you are not exempt from taxes. Right. So you go to the uh, URA and you pay the taxes, taxes. that are varied on uh, that car, then and can then sell. you change the number place to the to black the, ones. Okay, okay. You see what I mean? Yes, I can understand So now. that is, that ah, is the reason. I didn't reason. know that. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. everyone's always like, don't bring in tax-free cars because then whoever wants to buy it, they have to pay the taxes. I'm yes, like, I'm they have sure. to pay the taxes. Which would make sense because yes. regardless, all the cars here you see on the road have paid taxes. So just pay the taxes, sell the car right, for the value. Right, right. But now, the, did they explain that... Um, the taxes that you'd have to pay is that the tax from when you shipped it or the tax of the value of the car at that they time? They value the car at, at that, that time. At that time. So yes. five years later, if you want to sell yes. your car, they'll value it then, and yes. that's the tax. And then you pay the tax. Oh, yes. Oh, everyone's yes. so dramatic in Uganda. Yes. <laughs> when yes. you don't have information, yes. everything well, seems because, so much Well, because, you know, worse. when you come, you have that privilege that is given to you yeah. by the Uganda government. Yes. That privilege is not transferable. Which would make sense. Yes. But everyone yes. always makes it seem as if it's like the tax is going to be so high because it's the tax when you brought the car in. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I no, think they would value the it. Has now de de depreciated. depreciated in value, yeah. 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 So you would just add that, yeah. and that's usually how much cars are dry, exactly. that are on the road. It's the same exactly. thing. It is oh. like when you get your insurance, when you bring in your car, mm. whichever car you bring in, or if you are here and you go to an insurance company to insure your car, yes. they are going to value it. Yes, exactly. And it is not going to be the same value as when you bought it. Exactly, yeah. right. Yeah. That's what I... Anyway, <laughs> that's what I had thought. I used to argue with people all the time. I'm like, let me right. stop arguing. It doesn't right. make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so at least it was an easy... Was there anything that maybe was more difficult when you were bringing... Or it was literally this simple to, <laughs> to ship well, your things? Um, I can't... I, you know... No, I, no hiccups? When no I like, was over there, you see, mm. these are the, the things that people have to understand why are we living in a de developing country and why are we living in a developed country mm -hmm. in a developed country almost all systems are clear cut yes yes so there is no going to and fro they will tell you what you need to do and everything is is written mm -hmm. or you can actually find it on the on google and, yes, Google. And it is seamless. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You, you only have to ask questions. Yeah. Why am I doing this or why am I not doing this? Right. But otherwise, everything is, is, it's pretty is simple. clear. Now, I'm what sorry. wasn't very clear to me, or because I was living there, mm -hmm. was what are the regulations here in this country. Mm, and then okay. I had to find that out. But the good thing was that I was working with a shipping company that knew all the regulations. Okay. They sent me all the forms by yes. email. Oh, nice. I filled them in. And they told me what I had to have, mm -hmm. and and I had them. Okay. Yeah. Did it come up on the time frame you had 
in order to ship things because obviously I don't I mean now I've been back three years I'm not sure if I am eligible because it's been three years but you know is there like official cutoff time or did they tell oh, for, for, for shipping things tax-free like did they explain that to you for or shipping things those are regulation yeah the, the regulation is this I don't know what passport you have yeah Canadian but yes like, yeah. you are still you, you know, you are coming I'm still back. eligible to bring. Yes, because I'm, you are now Canadian. Yes. You ca Ugandan Canadian. Canadian, yes. And now you are coming back home to Uganda. Right, okay. So and the, all you need to do is to, to write, you know, to, to declare, write. I'm now moving back. You are now you are moving back. I don't have one foot here, one foot one there. Foot there. <laughs> but, but you could still have one foot there, but, there, but as mm. long as you are coming back to stay here. Right. You are, but also, the other thing is you have to, um, in Canada, you have to... Um, to, to get to the uh, High Commission in Ottawa mm -hmm. and ask them to write a letter for you. Right, saying I'm officially... that you are, you, are, you are living in Canada and you have these properties that you right, bought in Canada, right. especially the car. Right, yes, yes. That, yeah. <laughs> and then that attests to the government here that you are not, uh, you know, you are not forking, you are not doing funny stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that makes and sense. I, like and legit. I did that. Okay, okay. I got a letter from the embassy in Washington. In Washington, DC. okay. But it, for the car especially. Yeah, because yes. I know that they're just so big on the car. Right. I think everything yeah. else is like, oh, it's yeah. fine, but yeah. the car is. The car, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. such a big deal. Right. <laughs> Moving away from the car, because I feel like that was like the biggest question, <laughs> but what items did you ship that you felt you ha had to be from the US? Like, I know the toilet, because I will always remember that. <laughs> <laughs> the to you know, um, to tell you the truth, I did not have to bring all those things, but okay. before, before, as I told you in my previous interview, I, I kept coming and going back. Yes, and yes, yes. And that was one of the researches I did. Do, I, do, do they have this? Do they have that? Do they have that? Mm -hmm. So then I had to go and say to myself, I need to take this because it isn't easily found right. in Uganda. Right, yes. Or it is overly expensive in Uganda. Yeah, like the price doesn't make sense. Yes. So, but in my case, because I was uprooting myself from the United States, I had lived there for so many years. Mm -hmm. I had all these things, and I said to myself, why should I buy these things again? Yeah, you already have them. So I compared buying them, I mean, bringing them here and buying them here. Yes. And it, and it was only common sense. So say like the 16000 you think about like the washers, fridges, and things we buy here that are overpriced. Right. 16 of those things in your house is already going to cover the cost of a container. You just bring in things. Exactly. Because I said to myself, okay, do you want... You, you, you see, when you live in these develop, developed countries, there are things you get used to. Mm -hmm. For example, I was so used to using the Bosch, uh -huh. the German brand. Yes. And it is also very expensive in the United States. Not very, very expensive. But it's more like higher end. Yeah, it is yeah. higher end. But you see, because of uh, in the United States, you have, you have what we call, uh, uh, not only in North, North America. Yes. You have buying power. Yes. <laughs> you don't have buying power here. No. <laughs> so I said, let's go to Best, uh, Best Buy, mm. let's go to Lowe's, let's yeah, go to wherever get and buy, get everything. So now when it came to um, the change in voltage and stuff, were you, did you have to bring things like, what are those uh, that we plug in the wall to change mm, the, to change. like transponders and things like that? I did, but it is not necessary. Oh, it didn't, you it don't have issues with your appliances? No, because when you get here, mm. I, I mean, the country, this, Uganda has really moved away from those days of I mean, They have everything. Yes, yes. So I brought all those things, but they were not, Com compatible. Com yes. Yeah. So I went to the stores in Kampala and they had the compatible things that mm. are British. Okay. That change things to so now American. American. They lower down or they. Uh, lower, yes. They lower down. And they're not bulky. So they small are not bulky. Ones? So it was it was better to get them here. So I have them there and yeah. I'm, not, I'm not using them. The ones that I brought. Oh. So I had to go to Kampala to buy the ones that are British. Right. Or yes. Ugandan. Yes. And, and and it's much easier that way. So it's easy. Oh, so, you, for example, you brought your fridge. I brought the fridge. And then you just got one of those those The, the, the fridge, yeah, the fridge had to be changed around. And, yeah, so I bought those. Mm -hmm. all, the, all those things I used for the fridge to bring it down, they are all bought in Kampala. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah. Yes. The transformers. Yeah, transformer those the, ones, The transformers yeah. I brought were not... They were, they, are not, they were not going to work because there was going to be so much Yeah, that work. wouldn't have made sense. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, just yeah. easy. But it was yeah. easy to find them in town Yes, here. they are there. You plug them and it's fine. And, and it's fine. Um, the reason I went with Bosch, mm -hmm. because it is German, 
If you find someone, an electrician here in Uganda who knows what they are doing, yeah, it'll be easy. Inside further. inside the Bosch, there's a thing that you switch from 110 to 240. Oh, so you can just because I was gonna say if it's already German, it would be on the system mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Then they'd have to switch it to be in America. Oh, look but, at the latest things. But people, yeah, people <laughs> need to know that it is only the switches because the switches that came with the Bosches of the United States, mm -hmm. there are two. Oh, you know, okay. There are two, two thingamis. Uh -huh. While in uh, Uganda, you have three. Oh, you yes. See the, you see those switches? Yes, yes, three. yes, yes, yeah? yes. So you, all you do is so. you buy that little thing from Kampala, mm -hmm. but it, that will take in the two. That'll take it. Wow. Okay, because I was going to say, no offense to us being here, but we have such better appliances in oh. North America. Yes. We really do, yeah, no matter yeah. what it is, from TV to fridge yes, to yes. everything. To we everything. have much better options And there. they're bigger and they're size. bigger and like if you ever think of having a whole family i'm always looking at my apartment like how are we gonna really fit <laughs> i could barely even have my groceries in this cup the fridge, fridge like. was the thing the fridge i cannot stand the fridge because in i miss dishwasher to england they have the same they have those, those miniature small, things oh yeah the now UK they have people. also sorry changed. yeah yeah they have, they have yeah. really miniature appliances yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. we're yeah. really spoiled in north america but i agree yeah like yeah. bigger sizes yes. 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 um okay so then what items did you feel like like you knew I could get a new Uganda. Like there was no need for me to bring as appliances. No, just in general for the house. Like where you're just like you left it in the U.S. You're like there's no point in me even bringing this there in Uganda. None. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. The reason, the reason being is that when I was moving to Uganda, they were all they were also taking baby steps in now uh, getting the stores that will, mm, will bring in stuff to bring in things. That's true. That's places. true. That's true. Um, and people are just starting to bring in stuff, you know, the merchandising people. Mm. We are just starting to get stuff from, from I think they were from Dubai. And I yes, think it's were bringing still in a lot young of, market in yeah, that. Yeah, the market was very, very young. Yeah. They were bringing in stuff from China. There's a lot of things from China. Hence, like, even, for example, like, say, going back to appliances, TVs. Yes. There are brands I've never heard of in my life here. And yeah. I'm so used to the Sony's, the LG, mm -hmm. Samsung, the... the really? So, yeah. So, when you come here and you want those brands, because that's what you know, it's tw twice or triple the price. You're like, why? Yes. <laughs> and, and it is nothing Clothing, against... Clothing. Yeah, nothing to, against to, them. No, nothing against China. But... Um, and everybody needs to know that most of the stuff we have in North America are also mm. made in China. Exactly. It's just but when you're comfortable is, and used yes, to. Yes, what is the trick? <laughs> the trick is that... China has got three levels of, of manufacturing. There's a level for high-end America mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, North America and Europe. And then there's a middle for someone else. I don't know I who. I think them in China. And, and then, then there's, there's a lower us. end. That <laughs> the, the concept is that are the Africans going to afford yep. the high-end? But, you know... Africans can afford it. We can, and end. that's what irritates me. Well, it, yeah. Because I'm like paying the price of a Hisense TV, I get a Samsung or Sony, and everyone is like, why don't you just upgrade your TV? I'm yes. like, because I want my Sony. Yeah, well, you want your Sony. <laughs> At the price of, I'm going to go and get Hisense in the yes. Hisense store. So why can yes. I just get yes. it? And there is grades, there's tiers. Even when yes. you go and compare their brands on YouTube, like a lot of people will do comparisons of, say, the fridges or whatever of certain brands, there's a difference. There is a and difference. And you're paying the exact same right. price, so why? So And we could afford it here. I said, okay, <laughs> if they're going to treat me like that, I'm Let going bring to bring my everything. <laughs> I brought my TV, I brought my my t fridge, I brought a washer dryer, so I brought a yeah, dishwasher. Dishwasher, Every, I miss the dishwasher. You know, yes. Washer dryers, we don't have, they're the smaller size like they do in the UK here. Mm -hmm. So when you want loads of, like I can't imagine doing a whole family's load in these small ones we have. Like the one I have is very little. So there, that's something I would also bring. Yes, yes. Like, that's smart. Just get yes, a good, yes. good, um, Good appliance company that you trust that you yes, like. And the that Samsung could be TV is uh, United, you know, is mm. made in. I suppose it is made in uh, Korea. Or yeah, something. Korea, one of those. Yeah, yeah but it is American mm. standard. So yeah, it works fantastic. So well, I yeah. have owned it for already three years. Yeah, and it's still, and it's still there, working really well. So I just, I personally feel like I'm a hundred percent for the ship your things, mm. ship as much as you can, and yes. then whatever else you need, you just buy Yeah, you can it. buy um, things Or that when you travel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so what advice would you give anyone shipping then, shipping their, or interested in shipping their house and their, their car, whatever it may be, <laughs> well, in bulk, not the, the small, no, small ones? <laughs> yeah, the thing is, you know, it is better to ship 
you know, some people are doing, uh, you know, little stuff. They do, mm. they ship a little bit of stuff and then they, they come. Um, for me, I was already decided that I'm coming back. Right, So right. therefore, I, w I had that advantage of shipping everything At together. Once, yes. But there are some people who are not ready to move back. Mm -hmm. And there are some, there are shippers everywhere. There are shippers. Yeah, there are, there are. There are some Ugandan shippers in Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, because there's so many Ugandans in Boston, are, so yes. it makes sense. <laughs> I can't remember their names, but they are there. Mm. And they are doing quite well because they've been in it for a long time. They've had their struggles with shipping and clearing and so on. But now things are much easier. Yeah. Yes, okay. So they are also doing okay. That's good. Um, uh, AGS does door to door. Oh, which I love. This is the yes. first I heard of this. So I'm just here, like, I'm definitely yes. going to be telling yeah, people to check to them door out. Door to door is the only way, is the way to uh, go. Yeah, you don't want to be hassling. Because you don't want to be hassling and then they bring your stuff in Mombasa and then you go to Mombasa. And yeah, you just to check. You know, is everything good? Da, 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 like, you just yeah. want to pay from start to yeah, finish? Bring yeah. my things. Door to door. <laughs> um, by the way, I got permission from AGS to talk about them. Oh, great. So you don't have to <laughs> do a dick okay, at this time. Okay. So they are fine with that. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah. Um, the things that I had, that there's... I think everything I brought in. Yeah, I'd also say because people don't realize this now because I was a person who didn't go down this road and ended up purchasing a lot of things. Things mm -hmm. are very different, even things like a couch. Yeah, Our is. couches, we don't have the fiber. I always say this in videos now that I know. I keep spreading the news. We do not have the fiber that we use abroad yes. here. We just yes. don't have it in Uganda yet. I don't know what it's up, but we just don't have that foam. So yes. if you want those plush, nice, feeling yes, yes. oh i've come home yes. oh let me relax even mattresses you're not gonna get that yes, so yes. if you can ship it ship it. Mattresses, yeah, mattresses <laughs> yeah it's quite annoying one. but yes, yes. <laughs> so if you could just pay one price for a container stuff that container yes, why yes, not stuff that container. <laughs> and if you forget i mean these companies these shippers they have these smaller they, they, they have other that, sizes yeah they have mm. other sizes and not only that they might have a container coming. And then you cannot pick it back off someone yeah, else. Yeah, and then there they sell you a space. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, okay, so there's always yeah. ways. Just there are always contact ways. the company. Yeah, yeah, you just contact the company and figure out how much it would cost you to bring in some stuff. Okay. And, and they'll tell you, oh, yeah, we have a container leaving on such and such a date. Mm -hmm. Can you, can we? Yeah, and you do it. That's, I yes. didn't even realize that. Yes. I have heard of people piggybacking. I just thought it would be a headache. Yeah. But now that you explain how simple it is, maybe even the company will know, hey, someone has half a container, would you, would you yeah. maybe interested? Yeah. You don't have enough for a exactly. whole one. Maybe because, you do have. Yeah, and that's what the, the companies I know in, uh, the Ugandan companies in Boston, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. that's basically what, what they, they do. What they do. Uh, because um, yeah, <laughs> they, they, they have one container and then a lot of people put in Just stuff. put in things, mm -hmm. which is much, much better than yes. the, these ones of oh per kilo per yes. those are a headache yes. those yes. you're like mm -hmm. i just want to bring a memory card why am i paying more than the price of the memory <laughs> card <laughs> yes <laughs> and they are like also that. doing door to door so mm, that's yeah. nice that, okay yeah. The, yeah the things that people must really really bring from europe you know europe or mm. north america north, yeah north america if you are used to a nice big Stove. Oh, stoves, I forgot. Yeah. They are called the, they are called yeah, cookers, cookers here. Cookers here, but the big stove with like so, six yes, different ones. Because and then yeah, you <laughs> yeah, because when you are baking and, and you're you are doing roasting, the, you need space. Oh. Yeah, I have my like, small one and I'm yes, like this I is have that, you can't even do many things yeah, at no, once. You can't. No. <laughs> Oh my it's God. It's waste just yeah. your time in general. Yes. You end up cooking so much longer mm. than you really yes. need to. <laughs> yes, yes. So well, a stove, a stove is a yeah. must. A fridge could be a must because if I you want a big a fridge, but, need a big but now fridge. they have them here. They do. Yeah. I've seen them. They're starting yeah. to get more. They're not yeah. as many variety, but yeah. they're there. Yes, they yeah. do. Samsung is bring is. Oh, and LG, yeah. Samsung and, and LG. Yes, yeah, LG. They, do. they have big ones. Well, dishwasher, I'm not sure. But me, I would bring mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's there and you're moving and you, if you have container space, yeah. we'll just bring and it. And then one would ask you, why would you need a, a dishwasher? You have all these... Things are changing in Uganda in a way that people don't realize. Mm. For example, now you came, I don't have a maid. Oh, since this whole time? I have, now I don't have a oh, maid. Oh, this time, this time, because last time No, you... no, I, last time I yes, had a maid. Yes, yes, yes. I had okay. a maid until last, I think like January this year. Oh. But I just figured it out. I said to myself, in North America, you have your dishwasher, you have your fridge, yeah, you have do your all of these things. And then, <laughs> You have a person who comes to clean 
mm. once a week or what, once even oh, once a month. Oh, but to have someone here every day. It's not necessary. It's not necessary, no. I feel like when you're a, a big family or just a family, I'd understand. But if by, like for me by myself, I wouldn't, I'd no. understand. Yes, exactly. I don't, it's like, why do I need someone? Yeah. They just come once, clean. Yeah, they clean. Maybe they'll cook a few things yes. here and there and then they go. Yeah, but of course you still need a... Um, a, a, clean, a, yeah. guard, a guard, guard. Oh, that's a must. Or someone who cleans that. <laughs> if yeah. you have animals, you might need that some person. Right, to, right. Yeah. But but now, but a living maid is just you, not really. You can put all your dishes in your dishwasher. <laughs> just do. And and for me, you know, it takes me like it did in Washington or Virginia. Mm. My dishwasher would not be filled for a whole week. Yeah, taking because uh, you're it's just yeah, you, so you're just, you, yeah. <laughs> just you know? add add add, and then yes. that's and true. And then you do your washing once You don't have to week. do it all the time. Time. Yeah, that's true yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a dishwasher is a must um uh what else is a must don't bring there are things that i brought that i couldn't use oh okay yes, elaborate but, you on know that. don't bring don't bring uh, lights like you know the old um, bulbs, the bulbs and things yeah don't bring those you can buy them here that's true um but you can bring your nice switches those things that you know the fixtures to the wall oh yes yes like nice yeah, yeah. they are in town too but yeah, it's just hard to find what you would like yes, yeah yes. If you bring it yeah, those you can bring <laughs> okay okay uh the bigger machine that yeah like i said you know the stove you need, need to. I think it's the big appliances that especially yeah, you would need to be yeah, in a container. Yeah, yeah. Bring those. Yeah, bring those. Bring your bed. Yeah, bring, <laughs> bring your bed. Yeah, bring the bring mattress. Those, you don't have mattresses. to bring the bed itself. Yeah, but the mattress. The bring mattresses, your mattresses. You can bring. I'm not even going to lie. I've yeah, tried. I've tried to look. Just bring your mattress. <laughs> they have now, actually, they have now started making, there's an Indian company that is making very good mattress. Oh, nice one with the proper foam, right. not the other. Okay. They do Ooh, the springs and okay. so on. You have to and share how I found after. out was because when I, as I remember in my first interview, I said I mm. stayed at Speak Up. Yes, and they have nice beds and the they hotels have, have nice enough. beds. Yeah, and I had to ask them. And so I asked Mr. Sudil, yeah. the owner of the place, and he said, oh, yeah, yeah. And they gave me the name of the company. And they make them here. They I thought they were in importing the, yeah, them. On, on, oh ginger, on Ginger Road. Ginger you have to Road? share that contact. Yeah, Ginger yes, Road, because that's yeah. usually as you keep going, yeah, it's like are, uh, industrial. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in fact, when I went there, they were all, you know, the guy there is an Indian, he's teaching I'll in Ugandan, mm. and they bring in stuff from India, I think. Oh, as well, okay. To, to uh, make the, the, let yeah. me look into this and see if I, like, make the, get a bed made and then do a review, because yeah. I've been dying, I need a new bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so all you do in North America, for that matter, is you mm. just bring, you just go to Macy's or whatever store, mm. and you buy the... Um, the mattress, you know, covers. the mattress covers. Yes, yes, yes. Nice and soft. Nice and, and oh, the flush one. Yeah. And even the beddings, everything. Ah. <laughs> All of mine are from yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, abroad. Yeah. Wonderful. Sleep like a baby. Yeah, yeah but I just yeah. need to change my mattress. Yeah, I just buy those. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, this was great. Thank you so yeah. much. It was so informative. This was everything. No, I've learned a lot today, and now I can actually answer people. Uh, yes. People message me, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> don't even know. Don't ask me. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It used to be a hassle to ship stuff mm. yeah but now it has become very much easier. yeah much much, much just, easier. it's the door to door to me door, I, door to you want to come live here to have like a more relaxing right, life you don't want right. to come stress and hustle right. just to you know deal also with also the other thing that actually was involved were the trust uh yes you didn't, you didn't know whether you were using a, a reputable company, reputable company. Mm -hmm. then your the things will even come i was very lucky the one i used is very very trusty. and you've used them twice which is yes. why i'm like yes. this is even better yes. so great yes. i'll leave the info in mm -hmm. the description <laughs> thank you so so much um as always guys please do remember to subscribe hit the bell notification button i'll leave all of her businesses in the description below because you have your beautiful books which we reviewed before um as well as travel company yes. oh maybe you could elaborate a little bit on that the william safari yes is, um, it has now become e. Oh, e okay. business, one hundred percent. So we do everything electronically. I love that. You call me <laughs> if you want to go to wherever you want to do. Mm. You want a, a air ticket, or you want to go to safari. Yeah. We, and the reason we did this, we found I found out that a lot of travel agents have a lot of overheads. Yeah. And that are unnecessary. Overhead, yeah, unnecessary. <laughs> and those overheads have to be turned to the client. Mm, and so you end up, so we end up paying me, more. So for me, I just charge you a little fee for my work, of course, for my time. Of course. And I do, I call all the places and I do, I do the packages for you. Yes. And you go. That's nice. Well, I'll leave yeah. that information in the description because yes. also people are always asking me about how do I get a car to drive around for da 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 da. Yes. Like, and you have all the safari cards, you have everything. That. Yes, I all have the everything. Info. All you do is nice. just. 
you know, just a small fee. And I just did a, a trip for our students going to South Africa. Oh, nice. And they were, you know, they were checking on tickets and they were mm. so much higher. And I said, okay, let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, Chuck, should have called so, you for my ticket. <laughs> yeah. You know. Good to know. And it was yeah. easier. Because like, I, do, I do it online. Mm. And so what I have changed this thing to be like, you, you would have an office and you have an assistant. Yes. And you tell your assistant, can you get me a ticket to go to, um, to Canada? For yes, yes, yes. And she can call, she calls and she finds out the tickets and then you just buy the ticket. Yes. Oh, okay. Online. Online, everything easy. Because yes. we're uh, like, this is why, why I'm so shocked is because a lot of what we like in Uganda, everything is in person. People want to see yes, you in person. Yes, you have to go to, you go to an, uh, some office, office in town. Something. No. It's very annoying. So this is great. I'll leave everything. Yeah, it <laughs> is. It is. But of course, they do that because they have to deal with the uh, airlines because oh, they yeah. don't. But for us, we have an advantage. Uh, yes. We've we, traveled we, so we, much. We know all So of if those someone things. says, oh, yeah, I want to go to Ontario, I know where Ontario is. Yeah. What is do, the do, city? Put it in. Figure it out. And I, yeah. Oh, that's so great. So I'll leave all of that below. Thank you again so, so much. You're most welcome. Um, and yeah, if you guys need anything or have any comments, please leave them in the comment below. We'll talk, we'll chat, and I'll leave all the information about AGS as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll check you in my next video. Bye, guys.